How's it going everybody? I'm Daniel, you're watching Danibal Tech and today I decided to make a video on how to remove a forgotten passcode specifically for iPads. This video is iPad exclusive, okay? If you have an iPhone, I'm gonna have a link in the description so you guys can check it out. And the interesting thing is, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to remove a passcode of every single iPad model running any iOS version if you have an iPad and if you have a problem with the passcode, this video is going to cover it. And the cool thing is that it's just one method for every single iPad. So don't worry about that. It's very easy and I'm just going to show you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's say you forgot your passcode, your iPad is disabled, there's no way you can access it, you just can't remember the passcode. I'm just going to show you guys how to remove this annoying thing and gain access to your iPad again. So as I mentioned, this method works with any iPad available. This is an iPad 2, this is an iPad Air, this is an iPad 1, it even works with iPad Pros, iPad Minis, anything. Okay, the only iPad it doesn't work is the newest just released iPad Pro with no home button. Okay, I'll have a video on that as soon as I get my hands on it. But if your iPad has a home button, which is pretty much all iPads available right now, so it has a home button right here, uh, has a home button right here, doesn't matter if it's a normal home button or a touch ID home button, uh, the one you put your fingerprint to unlock it, doesn't matter, has a home button, this method works. And it's, as I mentioned, for pretty much all iPads available right now. So, your iPad is disabled, now it's just back. I'm just gonna make it disabled again, okay? Put in a random passcode. And now it's disabled for five minutes, okay? That's good. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna need a computer, okay? And a cable. That's pretty much what we are gonna need. Keep in mind that this process is only if this is your iPad. Please don't use it for stolen iPads. That's not the purpose of this video, okay? One last very important thing before we continue. This process will erase all your information on your iPad, okay? So you will lose all data on your iPad after this process is completed. But uh, you can recover it from uh, iTunes, you can recover from iCloud, you can recover from a backup, so don't worry about that, okay? You can recover from any backup, either iTunes or iCloud backup, don't worry. But that's the only way to regain access to your device, is by erasing it, okay? So you can only remove the passcode by erasing it, okay? So keep in mind that. So we have our computer here, as I mentioned. Uh, you're gonna need to open iTunes. If you don't have iTunes, please go ahead and download it. It's free, okay? So just download iTunes and open it up, all right? And uh, as I mentioned, you need your cable. So just put your normal USB cable that comes with your iPad, okay? P plug it to your computer and then plug it to your iPad. I'm using this old iPad 2 just for convenience reasons because as I mentioned, I'm gonna need to erase it. Okay, so now that the iPad is plugged in, okay, and the iPad is disabled, but don't worry if your iPad isn't disabled, you just forgot your passcode, don't worry, just follow this process, it is exactly the same thing. So you're gonna need to hold the power button right here and hold the home button at the same time, okay? So home and power at the same time. Keep holding both of them. Keep in mind that this process will work with any iPad with running any iOS version. So if you have an iPad with a home button, do this process, please. It will work. So I'm still holding, as you guys can see, the Apple logo just showed up. And I'm still holding the power button with my left hand at the top and the power button with my uh, right hand at the bottom. I'm just going to keep holding in, as you guys can see, my iPad now is in restore mode. Okay, that's the restore mode screen, and I'm just gonna leave it to the side. And my computer, everything is gonna happen with the computer now. And as you guys can see, uh, there is a problem with iPad, iPad that requires it to be updated or restored. What we need to do is restore, okay? Don't hit update, hit restore. So this process will update to the, to the latest version and restore. So restore and update, okay? which means that it will erase everything on this iPad, okay? And then when we come back, it'll be as if it's brand new, 
and now iTunes is automatically downloading iOS 9.3.5 which is the latest version for my old iPad 2 so you can just click here and you'll see iPad software update is gonna take three minutes to finish depending on your internet speed it may take a little bit longer or a lot longer okay but please be patient because we will need to download this in order to finish up our process of removing the passcode okay so uh, the iPad software update download was finished and now we are extracting the software keep in mind that you don't have to touch the iPad or anything like that just let iTunes do its thing now we are waiting for iPad and my iPad automatically rebooted okay so now we are waiting for iPad and we have this progress bar right here okay I don't know if you guys can see that because it's very dim and it's very bright here but there's a progress bar right there and we're just gonna wait for it to load okay so now we've got the restore iPad software message and in your iPad right here We've got the Apple logo and the status bar finally starting to move. Okay, so keep in mind that this process sometimes takes one or two or three times times to work. Okay, maybe you've got an error message here or on your iPad, but don't worry about it. Just follow the process again. Do the same uh, top button and bottom button. Keep holding them until you see the restore screen with the iTunes and the uh, the cable at the bottom. Okay, so. If it takes one, two, three, or four uh, tries, don't worry, it is normal. Now we're almost towards the end with verifying iPad software, verifying iPad restore, and then we're almost done. Okay, now iTunes has automatically come back to my normal music screen, which means that the process with iTunes has finished. And now we'll have another process right here with our iPad, another status bar right there and then you just have to be patient and wait okay so the status bar is almost done here uh, please make sure to try not to touch your devices throughout the process okay your computer your iPad unless it's extremely necessary because maybe your cable is a little bit old or something like that and maybe because of this you will have problems okay so as you guys can see my iPad is alive I'm just gonna go ahead and set it up real quick so you guys can see that uh, everything is back to normal so right here I'm choosing my backup as you guys can see uh, so I don't lose anything uh, I just chose a backup from like 10 days ago so it's pretty updated is all I need and now it's restoring from iCloud and that's the screen we all want to see so welcome to iPad get started and we're good to go so my iPad is right here everything is back to normal with all my apps yep so if this video saved your life please make sure to hit the like button down here also click on my face right here to automatically subscribe to my channel and click on this video right here I'm pretty sure you're gonna love so that's pretty much it I see you guys next week bye bye